Tag, mein Freund, das ist die deutsche Erde und das ist Rom 2. So ein Tag ist September, September 9 und die Art ist 9 AD. <laughs> If any of y'all knew what exactly what I said, then kudos to you and uh, do a speck in Deutsch or do a speck in good Deutsch or is you first in good Deutsch. Uh, <laughs> for y'all that don't know any at all German, literally the transition that I said was hello, my friends. The year is September 9th. Uh, the day is the 9th of September. Or technically I should have said not, the day is September 9th, year 9 AD. Region, Hanover, Germany. Uh, Forst, Trutteberg. Region Kalkriza. For y'all that knew it, sir Gort. Very good. Y'all that don't, well, you'll see. You'll see. After a summer spent camping in north of the Rhine, The Roman commander Publius Quintilius Varus was moving his troops to the winter quarters in the Rome territory. However, he did not know his right-hand man, German-born Arminius, had built an ambush of tribes against him. Arminius led Varus into an ambush into the dense Tudorberg forest. We are on hard. Unfortunately, guys, this is the Roman side. We will not be able to see the Germans, but this is the historic date, and what we will do. In 9 AD, after a busy summer's campaign, the Roman general Publius Quinctilius Varus marched his legions towards winter quarters south of the Rhine. Though he didn't know it, He was being led into an ambush by his trusted lieutenant, Arminius. A noble of German birth, Arminius was raised in Rome and served in her legions. He knew all about Rome's military strengths and her weaknesses. Just as Zergort. Uh, long story short, guys, uh, if for y'all that have played the campaign, also for you guys that have, well, actually you haven't because I have not aired the episode, uh, this is Rome, and the tribe that you're looking at is of the Cheruski. However, this was part of the German Confederation that was just born uh, recently, just a couple of months ago, uh, during this time. It concerns of the Cheruski, the Marcomanni, the Swaby, Berlin, which is the tribe I am playing as. Uh, you guys will see uh, Wednesday. And also, it consisted of some, some smaller tribes, uh, such as the Averni, and some of the others. Uh, all different tribes of, of, nor of West nor what, yeah, Western Germany, and also the Swabi, which is of the Berlin region of Swabia. 
and they were this was a combined confederation of Germans that was bent hell on earth to rid rid themselves of Rome uh, was bent hell on earth to destroy Rome uh, and her military power up in the northern uh, northern areas um, basically long story short I know this will only show military but this was not just military this was not just Rome as a military might this was families this was um, you know ox sheep cattle goats uh, trade items you know market value items that was heading north to this encampment altogether one legion of Roman troops can range anywhere from seven to eight thousand men in a legion so that's three of them so you're already looking at about twenty six thousand troops plus all the everything else you know women children so you're looking at almost twenty almost thirty thousand people you know moving in one solitary line uh, well actually three well three thousand there we go that's better uh, anyway so now it was thirty thousand because I remember each legion consisted of ten thousand anyway um, you'll have to look it up if you guys are actually interested in but you know this was you know people that went in you know trying to get to their their northern encampment the Germans, however, consisted of several different tribes, not just men, war dogs, and women. Women who hated Rome to the point because they had lost their sons and their husbands to fighting Rome. Um, one of the units that you guys will see, and then I'll start the battle, one of the units that you guys will see later in my Swaby campaign, it's called a berserker. Berserkers were literally men that had lost everything to Rome. I want you to imagine you guys have a family, you know, of your own. These guys were incapacitated by Rome. And they saw their children being butchered or taken off. And they saw their wives being raped repeatedly by these Roman troops and then killed or taken into slavery the man himself was taken as prisoner to Rome to be a slave and they escaped and they made it back to Germany and so these people these warriors called berserkers would go in biting their tongues to the point where they bled in rage and in fury and they would cut down as many Romans as they possibly could before they were themselves were killed uh, you know these guys could get there was an account on this for a while that a German took three arrows to his chest and continued fighting So, uh, anyway, guys, that's kind of the layout for the battle. So, here we go. I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Varus. Oh, Quintilus Varus, give me back my legions! Walking into a trap, Varus! The German will betray you. He will betray Rome. Arminius, a traitor? I think not. Rome may have raised me, trained me, but 
My loyalty is to my people! Thus, the battle begins. Now, I want you guys to notice something before we continue. The terrain of this is very set up to be a perfect ambush. Um, don't worry, we will get into the battle. I just want to keep talking about this battle before we start. As you can tell, the terrain is very narrow. However, the actual terrain was narrower than this. For instance, you can still fit an entire game legion in this. But you, the, the truth is, the Romans only could march four to five men in a width. As in the game, you could still fit, you know, several, several men, you know. That's more than, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten men already. Um, and you could fit, you could only fit four to five men in a single bit of this part. And so, as you're going along, to the, to the right is heavy, dense forest in this mountain pass up here. And to the left, uh, you get down here, I play this several times, is you get this bog-like area. Uh, and this stretches throughout the entire left side. And to the right is the heavy, dense forest, the mountains, more bogs and such and you continue on and eventually you you know you'll get your tro your troops down this path and it kind of leads into this clearing the only problem is the romans never even reached this clearing really i mean they reached a small clearing where the germans left them alone but after this clearing if you guys ever look look out there that's more forest and more, you know, terrain you have to pass. This actual fight, this actual fight t lasted three days. And so, you know, the Germans kept whittling away at the Romans until eventually they were completely annihilated and destroyed. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My computer decided to crash on me. Right as I was about to get ready for uh, the fight, but oh well. Oh, flaming fireballs. No, they did not set those up in the actual battle, but hey, pretty good effect. So I want you guys that way. You guys that way. You guys this way. You guys hightail it that way. You guys kind of need to form a somewhat of a flank. We're under attack! Look to the eagles! Defend them! Hold on! Eagle cohort! Quick march! Melee troops! going on not from this angle the goal is to defend Vars I could do that is have him run like a bad man. Oh, crap. Spear levy, spear levy. Advance at speed! Jupiter gives us strength! Keep moving! We must get through! Where is Arminius? Someone find Arminius! We need his auxiliaries! Here's kind of a funny thing for you guys. When he says uh, auxiliaries, 
this is kind of for you guys to know. The Roman... Well, the auxiliaries he's talking about are German. They're German auxiliary units. Uh, meaning, they are obviously loyal to German Germania. <laughs> so, yeah, he's kind of screwed on his auxiliaries. See the madness that's going on here. Put this in slow motion. Just so we can see what's happening. I need those cohorts to get out of there. I need everybody who's not. No, I do one verse to get in that. Pull him back, pull him back, pull him back. Sorry, I know that's probably going to drive a lot of you guys crazy, but I'm going to have to run this in slow motion because it's so hectically confusing. Eagle, get out of there. Fine. And what I want is for them to charge in. Charge, you charge, you charge. Oh man, those legionary cohorts are about to break. Just kind of messed up. What is going on? You can, guys, any and all of y'all, get to the front. Just get to the front. Those eagles will have to hold, those co legionary cohorts will have to hold their own. Get out of there if possible. Auxiliary infantry. Well, those cohorts are dead. So. Legionary cohorts! Romans ready for duty. Ready and waiting. Double time. Ready and waiting. Infantry. By your command. Oh, that's not what I was wanting, but okay. Advance your orders. 
quickly now! Brave Romans, to a man! orders! Oh, engage! And our troops are waiting on Whoa! Proud Romans all! Ready to studo! Just tell me all of y'all are moving as quickly as possible. Ready for battle. Okay. We'll Super kill loving. them all. Right Get out of there, guys. Melee infantry ready. Right Great for glory. Infantry. Advance. Ready and eager. General! Advergent Now you guys can turn around and deal with them. I want you guys to head that way. I want Vars to stay back. And I will save this battle. That way we can come back and look through it all. Uh, this will kind of be like, it will, I mean, it will be a special, special one. Just that way you guys can, you know, see it. Because I know this one, you, you it's a lot of moving around. You don't really get a chance to look around and see what madness is going on. And so I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys that. That way we can, we can see it all. So don't worry. I'll be fair to you. I'd really like to actually make a movie out of this. Oh crap, spears! I didn't see that, I didn't see that, I didn't see it! I didn't see that there were spears. I'd love to make an actual movie out of this too, just kind of, you know, showing, you know, everything. Besides, I need someone to stay back there and guard the flank, or guard the rear. But anyway, like I was saying, the auxiliary cavalry were actually bar uh, barbarian, they were German, and they happened to be coming from the same tribe that Arminius was. Hello, what is this? Hello, Varus. Enemy of Germania. Arminius. You, you're on your own. Horseman, with me. Double time. You. <laughs> you bastard. Varus! A cursed coward! Push forward while he distracts the enemy! Well, we got out of there alive. Oh, I hope you have fun with all those noble riders after you, Varus. Glad it's you, not us. Battle ready oh, and eager. Cowry, get out of there. I don't want you getting shot at Battle yet. Well, skewed eager. mainly. Commander. Eagle cohorts. Eagle cohorts. Legendary cohorts. And auxilia. No, 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 no. I'm gonna try to. Hunt me! 
Quickly now! Look to the rear! Berserkers! Remember guys, these are the guys that would die because they are really, really mad at Rome and we're not going to stand a chance in hell with this. Go! Get the standards out! The legions do not fail! Hunger for blood and battle! Commander! Rally men! We're nearly... End of the forest. Sons of Mars! But anyway, guys, these are the Germans that bite their tongues and you know, blood comes out of their mouths because they're so angry with Rome because, you know, they lost everything to to the might of Rome. It's kind of sad, to tell you the truth. It really is. We'll kill them all! The battle lasted three days, and at the end of the third day, every single Roman was either 75% of the actual Roman army, or 85%, I don't remember how many, were dead. The rest were slaves to the Germans. It's kind of fitting. They made Germany slaves, and now they were slaves to Germania. And uh, Swabia at the time was trying to go undergo a little bit of Christianity, and so they were trying to change. But you had a lot of tribes that were still under the old gods and the old ways. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm just going to have you run for your lives. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Those berserkers are right behind us, and if they catch us, we are dead, men. And they did make it to a clearing at the end of the first day. Oh, well, one, one cavalry guy had survived. One guy made it to the edge of the end of the forest Thank on his the cavalry. Thank the gods we made it out of that infernal forest. May Nerio give strength to those we left behind. What about Varus? No one knows. Even fewer care. No! How fitting for a Roman dog. Oh. Oh well, can't save it. Crap. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Battle of the Tudorburg Forest. Too bad we can't pl like read, do that. But I mean, at least you got a little bit. Um. Long story sh and also for Varus, that is actually not necessarily known. If Arminius actually did kill him, they don't really know. It's just, some stories say that Arminius or Varus uh, took his own life, uh, that he was surrounded by the Germans, and he f he went on his knees and he killed himself. Other sources say he tried fighting to the death. Um, but he was killed. And the other one is, as he ran and deserted, and Arminius found him, or a German archer found him. None of the actual stories are really known to what actually happened. Uh, no one, no one knows. No one really knows what really happened to Varus. Uh, all sources do say that he was killed and a couple of months later Emperor uh, 
Augustus, I think it was Augustus, uh, got the head of uh, of his uh, leading general in no the north of Europe, Varus. He got the head of Quintilius Varus, shouted, Varus, Varus, give me back my legions. And uh, that was pretty much it. So, and that actually began, that was in the September 9th, 9 AD. And that began basically the, basically it started the German war in Europe. And that actually started the 2000 year war Germany started in. Um, well, 2000 year Reich, anyway. So let's see what, uh, what, uh, upgrades I got. So I've got to kill the thousand men in battle. Cool. It's cool. And I will give a link in the description uh, to my German unification. If any of you are uh, more interested in the actual battle of the Teutoburg Forest. Uh, cover at least one legionary eagle from the Teutoburg Forest on normal difficulty or higher. Well, that was on hard, so... And uh, sexually defend the city. No. The Navy. Dock of Bay. The army will fight on. Recover at least two legions of eagles from the Teutoburg Forest on normal difficulty or higher. Master of Germania. Recover all three e legion eagles on the Teutoburg Forest on normal or higher difficulty. Well, hey, we did all of that. So I wonder if there's any more stuff for the Teutoburg Forest. When a campaign on legendary difficulty, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'd love to actually try that. Someone. Oh, Germany, Germany. And of course, you know, in the four, year of four, 410, uh, Germany was successful and they sacked the city of Rome. Uh, Serge so Carthage. I don't see anything else for the Tudorberg. So. Okay. Well, there's nothing else there for the Tudorberg Forest. So we got all the achievements for the Tudorberg Forest. Um, this is on a Monday. So uh, do expect uh, Tuesday to, to get the um, uh, multiplayer gameplay stuff. Uh, that will come out. I'm basically doing for multiplayer. I'll do two battles at a time on the multiplayer stuff. That way it's actually a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit like, uh, what am I doing? Um, just trying to think here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the Battle of the Tutebeck Forest. Um, <laughs> I'm umming a lot because I can't think, and I do hope it, you enjoyed it. If any of y'all do have any questions on the on the Battle of the Teutoburg Force, do please feel free to ask in the description. I would be very very happy to um, to answer any questions that you guys do have, uh, because I've, I'm a scholar, you know, on German history. Well, I'm not a scholar, but I, I love German history, and I love trying to find out more about it. And if y'all have any questions on the Tudorburg Forest, I will be happy to try to answer them myself, or I can refer you to links and videos that I have watched on books over over that battle, if any of y'all are interested in it. Um, 
do expect uh, the next historical battle to probably be the Battle of Car Cartho Carth Carthage Carthage uh, Carthage just say Carthage and then we'll move to the Battle of the Nile and uh, Ralph Ralphida Ralpha and which I do hope uh, Sega will release more historic battles because there are several of them that I would love to play like I'd love to play the Italian one you know with the, the fall of Rome I would love to fight against the Huns I'd love to fight you know uh, the battle of uh, of uh, Persia which was down here I'd love to fight uh, obviously the battle of Thermopylae against the Persian Empire and several more I'd love to fight. I do hope Sega will release. So if any of the for Sega comes out, you know I'd like, guys, please, let me and do all of this. Of course, that would be the region of the Hydaspus Wall, right right up here. Uh, basically, that was what Rome did not know. This was all Rome and Britannia. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please do comment, rate, subscribe. Finally, I got a video out for Rome 2 Total War. So, yeah, guys, uh, anyway, tschüss, auf Wiedersehen, and I will see you next time. This is German Eagle signing out. Auf Wiedersehen, mein Freundins. Bye-bye. See you next time, guys. Bye.